Hey, it's Liz. So today I am painting on clothespins. And my idea behind these is that I am going to put magnets on them, on the backs, and be able to use those as magnets on my fridge. And I think kind of have a double purpose of using them like little chip bag clips or something of that nature. For this first set, I chose to go with fruits, and there are lots of fruits, so I couldn't choose every single one, but for my set, I chose the ones that I wanted to do. And I kind of did them in rainbow order here, because I did fruits for every color of the rainbow. I'm a little bit obsessed with rainbow order. I guess I have a little OCD, so that's why I put them in that order. <laughs> These are small little canvases, so it was a little hard to get super detailed, but I think I was able to add enough detail for them to be really cute. And I did end up really liking all of them. And uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite in this set. They're really cute, but I guess if I had to choose, I would probably choose the cherry only because red is my absolute favorite color and cherries are one of my favorite fruits. This was really fun to do. I really do like patterns and prints and I thought that would be the perfect thing to do on these. At this point I've made it to green in the video as you can see I did lime but then I also wanted to do kiwi which is one of the fruits you don't always see on everything and I thought it would turn out really cute. And I really did end up liking the kiwi one as well. For blue, I did go with blueberries. Nothing too crazy. I just thought a blueberry one would be cute. For grape, I, I mean for purple, I did go with grape. But I wanted to add a couple of green grapes on there because I just thought it would be really cute. So it's still technically the purple theme, but there's a little bit of green in there. And I wanted to do dragon fruit because you don't always see dragon fruit. And I think dragon fruit's really pretty. So that is what I chose for pink. And here is the complete set. I really love how they turned out. And I can't wait to turn them into magnets. Put them on my fridge. I think they'll be really, really cute. The second set, I went in and did rainbow butterflies. Again, I'm going in with rainbow, but I love rainbow, so yeah, that'll probably be something you see a lot of on my channel. I either do really bright rainbow things or I do things on the darker side. I like both. These, I did start out with a basic shape and then went in and add the lines and dots and all the little details to make it look like a butterfly's body. I think they turned out really cute, but they showed up better on the white background than they did the black background. And this is how this little set turned out. I think they're cute also. And for the third and final set, I am doing flowers. We're starting here with roses. I'm just doing the basic outline first. And then off camera, I did do the little details because I was looking at pictures to kind of go by and get the little colors and details that needed to be on them. And I was filming with my phone also, so I, and it was getting late, so I just didn't go in between each one and look. I just kind of went in and added all the little details so they would look really cute. And again, I went in rainbow order with this, at least for putting them in the video because I did kind of go back and forth and add little details as I went or that I noticed I was kind of missing. And I did little dots in between the flowers because I thought it was missing something in all the little blank spaces. Anyway, this is how they turned out and I think they're really, really cute. I really do like them. And I, again, can't wait to put magnets on these and put them on my fridge. I think they'll make it nice and bright and pretty. And that's the end of the video.